At the stadium site, they're chugging along. The steel is going up. In Henderson, the city tells us the team might break ground on its headquarters and practice facility, perhaps in November. And today up in Reno, Clark County Commissioner Steve Sisolak joined Raiders President Mark Bedane scouting out sites for a summer training camp in northern Nevada. Wherever Mark decides to put it, as long as it's in Nevada, I'm, I'm very, very happy. In, in northern Nevada, no pressure yeah. there. But we're the silver state and I want to make the silver and black state. The Democrat running for governor has been instrumental in bringing the Raiders and the stadium here. For him, this Reno visit is more exposure in a county he needs. Washoe County has often been the swing county on these races. That's UNR political expert Eric Herzig. Democrats hope to come out of Clark County with big numbers. In this race, which the latest poll says is tied, then... Well, I think Washoe is absolutely critical. Speaking of swings, in 2016, Washoe voted for Democrat Clinton for president, but Republican Heck for Senate. In 2012, Democrat Obama for president, Republican Heller for Senate. It's a political split personality, and any photo op helps. Team Sisolak says today was just football, not to Republican Jim Wheeler sent my way by Team Laxalt. Because this is definitely politics. What he's doing is up here, he's taking credit for the work that we did to get the uh, Raiders to come up for training camp. Uh, we did that work back during the special session. Sisolak says today is about helping all of Nevada benefit from an NFL boost. And I'm disappointed that the Assemblyman would choose to make it a political event. It's not a political event. This is about finding the best location for the Raiders to have a northern facility. In the meantime, any photo op helps in a race that could be a photo finish. Jeff Gillen, News 3.